Hey, hey guys, how you doing? How's it going, Bob? Good to see you. you. <laughs> Junior, your 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 hair looks good. I saw you sort of messing with Appreciate it. There. I was looking at it. Needed that. <laughs> hey, um, you know, when you were at, uh, with San Jose State, you guys went to Auburn a couple of years ago and gave them a pretty good game. I think you were leading them at halftime. Maybe I was wondering what what, what you remember about that, and is um, does that help? You know. That that you're you go, you're going back there. It's that's maybe something you can look back on playing there and remember what the atmosphere was like and those type of things. Oh, was definitely. You know, you kind of have a sense of what the crowd noise is going to be. Uh, that was actually my second career start ever at tackle, and so uh, you know, it was lots of nerves back then. But I think now I have a lot more confidence in myself. And uh, yeah, no, they have a great atmosphere there, a great crowd, and uh, I'm excited to play there. And then this is going to be your guys. It's like, it's like Josh Brown was saying the other day, the, the, the season flies by. It's already been three games. Oh, your first three games at Arkansas, how have they gone overall? And just kind of what, what's the season been like for you so far? And, and Rodney, maybe, maybe you could take that too. What, what, what your start here at Arkansas has been like. Yeah, I've loved where uh, these first three games have gone. Obviously last week <laughs> I had gotten a little bit uh, better. We had a better start, but uh you know, I like where this team is heading. I like how the offensive line is gelling. I feel like I've like, kind of always been saying each and every week, we're just getting closer and closer and we're playing our better. We keep playing good ball each week. And so that's awesome to see. And that's always, that feels good for me as uh, being, you know, like a left tackle in the group and just kind of seeing the group develop throughout the year. And so it's exciting to see kind of where we're going to head and where we're at right now. Yeah, sir. Really, you can just see everybody just like starting to gel together and like we're just improving week by week. And it's just really looking good. And I'm liking like my first three games. I love it here. It's been pretty great. I've just been having a blast, honestly. And, and, and Junior, the, the the tackle that made a second start Auburn two years ago, now you're a guy that's got out whatever, 30 games, whatever under your belt. How different are you now as opposed to then? I mean, how much better and in what ways are you better now now than you were then? Uh, I'm definitely not as fat as I used to be back then. I feel like when I was kind of going into that game, I was just kind of a uh, fat little tackle out there just trying to fight his tail off. And, uh, you know, I've obviously grown as just kind of in the sense of my body and then also my mind and just kind of the knowledge of the game. I feel like when I first went there, I was just I was a young pup, a young offensive lineman, just trying to figure things out. And I think now I've kind of grown. Uh, I've just grown my mind. I've grown my knowledge of the game, and uh, the game comes to me a lot easier. Rodney, what 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 what's your take on 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 Junior as a player? You know, a guy that's obviously trying to open holes for you, and maybe just the offensive line as a whole. But you know, Junior first, and then then the the O line as a whole. Well, Junior is a real like leader. Like he's he's like he's really the leader that you need in the locker room, and really on the offensive line. He like he keeps us all together and stuff like that. And, like, for the O-line as a whole, you know, like, I have a great time with them. Like, we all got a good relationship. Like, we be out there dapping each other up, like, in the huddles and stuff like that. Like, we got a real brotherhood. And it's, like, it's pretty good to see. And I just enjoy it. Okay, I might have a few more, but I'll, I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Sure. Go ahead. Rodney, you're from Statesboro, right? Yes, sir. That's just, like, four hours away. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of – People from Georgia that go to Auburn and stuff. There's a lot of talk about Auburn in the state of Georgia. I'm just curious, you growing up and stuff. Um, what do you remember about some of that kind of stuff? What we talked about with Auburn, and you you know anybody uh, on the roster over there? Uh, yes, sir. I know a couple of people on the roster. Just like the running back, Demari Austin, and uh, K. N. Lee, the cornerback. Like a few of them never played against them, but I just know they from the Atlanta area and stuff like that. Yeah, and like for me, Georgia, we all just know each other from like camps or stuff like that. Yeah. Any thoughts on Auburn and just, uh, I guess, just maybe discussion from within the state of Georgia since it, I mean, what is it like two hours from the, from the border of Georgia? Uh, yes, there's two hours from the border of Georgia. It's four hours from where I'm from, but um, honestly, I'm just ready to play the game and just really just go out there and compete with my, with my brothers actually. Yeah. Excuse me. I guess it's about an hour, two hours from Atlanta. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Fernando. You were recruited by Auburn out of the transfer portal, heavily recruited. You had to make a tough phone call uh, to them to tell them after your Arkansas visit that you were sticking with the Hogs. How did that conversation go? I know that they were – you said they were kind of blowing you up and stuff uh, after you had to tell them that. Yeah, obviously it was, uh, you know, it was a hard call, but it's understanding, you know, it's, that's just kind of how college football is now. You know, the portal kind of happens fast. You 
make these quick relationships and then you had to make that quick decision and uh, you know, just how it is you know you can't be everywhere I couldn't be there and I can't be here you know I my heart was here all the way and uh, you know I've always been a big believer in following your heart and uh, my heart was in Arkansas so it was a really easy decision. Coach Pittman says they like to blitz a lot and use an odd front. Just curious overall, what do you see out of them schematically for just yeah, they, both? Yeah, they got a lot of big boys up front and they like to blitz. And so it's going to be really key for us as an offensive line just to have our eyes up, uh, you know, just being locked into this game plan and uh, just kind of being able to read these blitzes before they even happen. So it's just going to be a lot in our preparation and our game plan. And I think if we are able to do that throughout the week, we'll be just fine. Rodney, your thoughts? Uh, just a lot of movement. You know, they got some big boys down in the D-line area. Just a lot of movement from them and stuff like that. But it's not nothing that we can't handle. Thanks, guys. Jackson, go ahead. Sorry. Hey, guys. Uh, for both y'all, you know, I know you played behind a little bit against Oklahoma State, but – you go down by two touchdowns early against uh, UAB. I'm sure you'll play from behind again at some point this season. What did you learn about the offense uh, being able to erase that early deficit and, and make a comeback there this weekend? I think just our poise as an offense. And uh, the main one leading that is TG. You know, whenever he gets into that huddle, you can just see that look in his eyes where he's like, you know, uh, we might be down two scores or we might be down a score. But it doesn't phase us. And uh, I think just the poise that he kind of gives off to us is uh, everything. And it kind of has helped us in these the Oklahoma State game. Obviously, we didn't get the job done, but we got that game winning or we got that drive down to uh, tie it up. And then obviously the UAB game, we were down and uh, we came back and we fought back. But I think it's just Taylor's poise and just kind of that aura he gives off to us. Yeah, his energy, his energy is like very powerful and it's like, Games like that, like you need your quarterback, and Taylor is like all of that. Like he keeps everybody pretty he's very poised, and he keeps us into it, and it just really helps us. I know neither of y'all were here last year, but we just talked to Xavier, and he said he could kind of feel maybe the the hurt of, of the Auburn result last year. Have you guys gotten any sense of that? Of you know, trying as newcomers, maybe trying to help the the guys that were here last year, uh, put that to put that memory to bed a little bit. Well, it's definitely those are our brothers, man, and. uh you know, they got beat last year and, uh, you know, they're hurt. And so their hurt is my hurt. And so we're I'm trying everything in my power to go in there and change the result this year. And uh, we're not going to feel that hurt again. Yes, sir. He, he, he said it all right there. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> Rodney, I'm just curious, you know, Jaquindon, 300 yard rushing games already. Uh, you know, have you seen maybe his. He's always been a confident guy from what I can tell, but have you seen maybe even that confidence even growing any more? Uh, can it get any higher? Just, you know, seeing himself do it on the SEC stage or for an SEC team at least so far? Oh, yes, I can see it's going to go to the roof. It's going to go to the roof. He's a real great player. Like, his practice ethic is insane. He keeps us all involved, and he's a, he's a leader pretty much, too, to all of us in there. He keeps all of our heads straight. Like, if we mess up on something, he's there to keep us up. But, yes, sir, most definitely. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Otis. Fernando, hey, uh, losing Patrick Kudis could have been a disaster, but Amari Harris has stepped in really played well. What have you seen from him? Yeah, man, he just he, – uh, he got the opportunity and he took full advantage of it. And I think that just kind of shows of his practice – his practice habits and he's always been ready and he knew that he was going to be that next man up. And so he came in and I think he did an excellent job making the calls and just kind of his confidence and never kind of, he never was, wasn't up and down. He was very level headed and uh, he was ready for the opportunity. So I was really happy to see that. Rodney, uh, three games in here at Arkansas, is it going about like you thought it would for you? I'm talking about individually. Has it gone about like you thought it would, or you still uh, look Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, like, uh, it's been a pretty good season for me. I feel like I'm like, it's about the same as when I was at my, my prior school. You know, I don't really look at individual. I just look at team, make sure that we win. And that's all I can really care about. I don't really care about individual stats. Yeah, you guys, both of you, just uh, SEC getting off to a start. You know, you got some, not that Auburn's not tough. They're all tough. I get that. But it does – you start playing higher-ranked teams later for whatever that is worth. How important is it to get a win Saturday? Oh, it's tremendous, man. Uh, just 
I'm a big believer in momentum and, uh, you know, you got to get that first one and it's all about this week. And if we get this kind of gets that ball rolling and, you know, creates that belief in the room that, you know, what we could do this in the SEC. So, you know, every game means a lot, but uh, obviously we're starting SEC play and you want to get that first one to get that ball rolling. Hey, thanks. Good luck, guys. Both of you. Thank you. All right, Bob, take us home. Yeah, you know, I know you guys have obviously played conference games before. This will be your first SEC game. Um, how, how big a deal is that, whether it's Auburn or whoever it was? It's, it's you know, it's the, it's the SEC now. It's just another game, man. I mean, obviously – it's it's going to be better competition. It's uh, bigger boys. But uh, at the end of the day, it's another week. The ball is going to be the same. The field is going to be the same length. There's nothing that's going to change. Uh, football is football. And it is a different conference. But, uh, you know, if you go out there, play, and prepare like we always do, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, so yeah, it's, right. just, it's just another week, honestly. That's all the way I, how the way we all have been looking at it. It's just another week. It's better competition. So, hey, why not us? And then, uh, Junior, I think I read this. Who were you? I mean, Arkansas is obviously your final choice, but who else was in that top two or three? And I think I read you visited here, committed, and then canceled your trip to Auburn. Have I got that right? Yeah, that, that's correct. I had, a, I think, UCLA, BYU in there. But, uh, yeah, I had that trip to Auburn. But like I said before, man, you know, when I touched down here and I met Coach, met Coach Mateos, I was actually introduced to Blackstock at the time and uh, everything just felt right. Everything felt right in the moment. And, uh, you know, my, me coming here, I still will say the same. It's been the best decision I've ever made. I love this place. I love Arkansas. I love the fans. And uh, it's a great decision. When you had to call over and tell him, uh, Hey, uh, cancel my hotel room or whatever. Did, did you call Hugh freeze or the line coach? Or do you remember who you talked with? I think I talked to the old line coach. Uh, it was a brief conversation, but uh, it's just kind of how it goes. You have to make those tough conversations. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I was at my favorite place, and that's Arkansas. So I wasn't too hurt. And, and then uh, we were talking to the uh, defensive guys earlier, and ask, I asked them about you. And Xavier said you, you were nice enough to drive him around when he first got here. I was just wonder I guess that's probably a good way to get to know a new teammate or kind of what 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 we we did, did were you like an Uber guy or something or you know I've always that's kind of just how I've been raised you know whenever somebody needs a ride you throw them in the car and I don't care how far they you have to go you know you take them wherever you have to go and uh yeah no it was a great way to just kind of learn a little bit about him and just kind of his experiences from Georgia obviously I think he was on a championship team so uh or just even being in that program. And so it was it was good to just kind of hear his experiences and uh, just kind of hear his life story and just create that bond with him. And he's an awesome dude, man. I, I love being around him. He's a great teammate, but even better friend. Okay. Well, hey, I, I, think, I, I think I'm good. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Bob. Sure. I will see you all in Auburn.